Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic, and I have new templates available in my shop at scrapcraftastic.com. Um, these are envelopes for ring bound and the mini disc bound planner. This is the, the envelope template for the mini disc bound. Um, you may have seen it in one of my recent Plan With Me videos. This is what it looks like. You can put stickers or anything you want to store in there. You can use them as cash envelopes if that's what you want to do. Um, but that's how they work. And pretty much all of the ring bounds are the same. It's just that they are have the six hole punch instead of the disc openings. So I have them where you can cut them by hand or you can use your silhouette or you can use a Cricut. So they come with PDF files which is for manual manual cutting. You also get a JPEG a PNG file. Then if you want to use it for your digital cutter there's an SVG file and then the studio file for the silhouette. So these are just what the templates look like. This is the pocket rings. This one is a little different. This one didn't print all the way. But this one is the personal rings. The A6. And then this is the half. These are all the manual templates. So ideally you would print these on cardstock or a heavyweight paper and use them as a template to trace out the envelope. And then you could just make your holes with a regular hole punch and for the uh, disc bound version you could actually use your Happy Planner punch if you have one or you could use a regular hole punch and scissors to make these cuts. So that's all if you're doing it manually. So I have actually cut out all of the templates. So this one is a pattern that I printed myself and I printed on 32 pound paper. So it's actually a little heavier than the, the scrapbook paper. So it's a nice weight and I did that because I, since it's so small, I think cardstock would be a little too heavy for it. So I'm gonna put these together and I think I'm missing one. Okay, and then I also have the personal wide, and I printed this one on scrapbook paper as well, just to try it out. Um, I did make one that I showed in my Instagram, uh, on my Instagram feed. I never did glue it together, so I'm going to pop this one out, and because I don't have a personal wide um, planner, I will show you what the personal wide looks like in just my regular personal size. So, let's set that aside. Let's go ahead and glue this one together. Since I've already scored everything and done my folds, I'm just going to go ahead quickly and glue it closed. You just put a little, a little glue on the flaps. Oops. to close it and you can use your adhesive of choice. Um, this is art glitter glue and this little, I don't know what you call these, but fine point applicator, um, which I have listed in my Amazon influencer shop if you're interested. And I think I also have the glue in there as well. So there is the first one, which is the personal size. And this is all on paper from Hobby Lobby. So I'm just gonna line this up and my flaps are one half inch. So I'm gonna lightly score at one half inch. Flip that around, score at one half inch. Again, lightly. I've already folded where the holes are and I'm going to just score my flap. Oh, 
Oops. So now everything is folded. I'm going to fold this up. Burnish my fold. And if you want to reinforce, you could also run some washi tape in here and then repunch it. And that will help reinforce, especially if you're if you decide to use the scrapbook paper. My cutter kind of tore my edges. So I'm just gonna go ahead and glue these down. And so personal wide is just what it sounds like. Let's slip this in here to close the envelope. It uh, is the same height as personal, as the personal inserts, but it's an inch wider. So let's pop this in just so you can see kind of what it looks like. And so if this was and so if this was a personal wide, let's put this one back too. My notebook is a little stuffed. So if this was a personal wide, that's how it would look. I mean, it wouldn't have the overhang, but it would fit perfectly. Okay, so we did the personal wide. Now let's go ahead and do the disc bound. I'm gonna go ahead and score the flaps first at one half inch. So now I'm just gonna fold so that my mushrooms line up and then I'm just gonna burnish my folds carefully and again you can reinforce your holes run some washi tape on the inside and what I did with the one that I did as cardstock is I glued these shut. So I ran a little bead of glue between these and I think that helps make them a little more sturdy as well. So I'm just going to do it again. Because you're not going to have anything that comes down through that space anyway because they'll be on the discs. Do the flaps first, then do the gluing. So you won't have issues like I'm having. I have to cut some of the flap off because it's uh, the glue is already adhered and I don't want to rip it up. Okay. So now I'm just going to add some glue. I don't know how I feel about the scrapbook paper. I mean, the cardstock seems a little too heavy but I'm thinking the scrapbook paper is a little too thin I'm not sure but anyway let me just clean this up because my paper trimmer did not cut just perfectly and do my full for my flap and then it tucks right in here. And then we can just pop it into my over stuffed. Binder. On my over stuffed mini. So and then you could decorate this just like a dashboard and make it usable 
just like a usable dashboard actually. So there's that one. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the one for the pocket rings. And this is one that I printed on 32 pound paper. I printed this pattern and it's basically is just showing you can actually even print your own design either on paper or cardstock. Um, just gonna score my tabs. One half inch. One half inch. Let's try. Do my flap. Okay. And then for the bottom half, I'm just going to line up my holes. And then just score. Now, if you're doing these manually, you know, you can punch your holes after you've done your folding. Fold my side tabs in. everything down really well here is I'm using my clear well, I have two pocket rings this is the one from mystics little gifts but I think I want to put this in the clear um, planner I think I'm gonna put it here in the center and I don't know why, but I usually want this side out. So then when you flip it, then you can just open the envelope and put what you need in there. So that one is done. I wanna go ahead and show how to do the A5 because it's a little different than the others. The others are pretty much the same. So I need to go ahead and score my tabs at one half inch. Okay. And I need to score my flap at one and three quarter inches. Folding and burnishing. So I'm folding my flap and I'm going to fold these tabs. But this one is a little different because A5, you're not able to cut both pieces out of one sheet of paper or one 12 by 12. So you kind of have to put them together. So what I did was line, I'll line this up, make sure everything is lined up properly. So this one, you will put glue on your tabs and also around this area, the bottom edge where the holes are. So I'm just going to put glue here. Oops. And on my tabs. So 
So you put around the bottom holes, around the holes, and then on your tabs. Then carefully line up your holes first. and then press down to adhere the tabs. Let's move this out of the way. And that should have everything lined up just right. And burnish, and burnish. take my A5 which is already stuffed and let's try and put it in here I know I have too much in here already maybe I need to move it back further let's try it here oops Close it up, and there we have the A5 envelope. Okay. Again, I will come back and show in a separate video how to use the half template for the pocket wide. But for now, that's it. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please click that subscribe button and also click the little bell so that you'll receive notifications whenever I upload a new video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.